Losers Finals. This is game number one. This is Amaryllis. This is Slingshot. And this is... Gonna stall until we get the stage choice. PS2. So, a pretty standard, pretty standard starter stage. Um, now, so thinking back, just trying to draw as many as many connections as I can, um, in, in a manner akin to uh, the the Pepe Sylvia scene from Always Sunny in Philadelphia, um, the the Amaryllis uh, Kabine set was such a slugfest of aggression. And we've already seen that Slingshot was able to overcome that aggression against Kid oh! by just shielding. But you can't shield on ledge, buddy. And if you if you stay there too long, you're catching a boot to the head. And oh man, what a what a start for Amaryllis here in Losers Finals. Yes. Yes. And um. And, and Amaryllis, uh, like we, we use the, I used the word unperturbed earlier. If that was unperturbed, this is like z never perturbed. Um, Amaryllis, thirty-four percent only. It's we're more than a minute in. This is a clinic of defensive gameplay yeah. from Amaryllis, and also okay. Forward smash reads haven't gone away. Up smash reads haven't gone away. Um, this is pretty big, and getting bigger. Amaryllis trying to witch time the banana, okay. Uh, those are the sort of go things that you can go for at center stage when you have a uh, over a full stock lead, about a stock and a half. And Slingshot fi now finally finding the first KO, getting that banana forward smash, which has been there for Slingshot all night, but immediately Amaryllis answers. It is a Full stock lead, clean stock lead for Amaryllis. Slingshot really has their work cut out for them if they're going to take this first game. And you really don't want to give a player like Amaryllis any kind of momentum. Um, Diddy Kong may be uh, Diddy Kong may be good at shrugging off the momentum from other characters, but Bayonetta can just when Bayonetta is in your head, it's really really tough to get her out. Oh. Amaryllis is just going to work right now. Yeah, it does. It oh does. my god! Part of you me wanted that to hit. Okay. A very, very sick part of me wanted that that F smash to hit. A sick and twisted part of you. Right. Um, but yeah, we were talking about how oh, you know, really effective gameplay from Slingshot. I have not seen him get a chance to really do that. Just too much pressure, too much in-your-face brutality coming out from Amaryllis as now 102% actually for both of them, but there is a stock difference between these two. Right? It, like, it looks great until you look at the stocks. It's one of those games. Uh, not punishing that dash attack. Kind of some missed opportunities here from Slingshot. He cannot be doing that based on how, if, like, what? clean... And precise, Emerilus's punish game has been. He has to actually be every opportunity that he manages to find. He needs to take it. Otherwise, okay. just gonna get back at ledge like that. Yeah, uh, that and that was kind of like uh, um, Emerilus kind of like threw a wrench into the gears of like uh, it looked like maybe Slingshot was trying to. Let, let's see this again. Um, okay, so. Okay, maybe trying to like jump up and monkey flip back in or like do some kind of wave bounce stuff. But that's like, that that looked like they were going for some kind of muscle memory stuff and Amaryllis just threw a wrench it, into it. Um, and I was like that, that, that came just as I was about to say something along the, to the effect of the, 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 Surge of momentum for Amaryllis had kind of dried up by that point. It was it was definitely Slingshot dictating things a lot, um, but the the lead was still there, and that was definitely that was definitely a fortunate back air to find, all things considered. Yeah. Now remember how that game started out with this absolutely stunning combo, a 
a decisive lead for Amaryllis as we move into game two. If he doesn't manage to do that, if he cannot get a repeat with a very early lead like that, we probably won't see that same kind of game state. But we see oh my God. it, we see How it did... immediately, a zero to death. That's even that, yeah. more That's even more stunning than the combo we saw in game one. Oh my God, this is a body bag of a game two so far. I, what is the answer? Do you switch characters? Do you switch stages? There's something fundamentally just oh, wrong with what just, Amaryllis is doing the slingshot right now. This, it, 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 Amaryllis is playing pinball. But Amaryllis is straight up playing pinball with F-Smashes. Um, playing this solitaire. Is like, this is border, okay, actually, all right. This is not a two stock lead yet. Um, and, and, and with that F, with that F smash and with that up smash, um, not quite enough to kill, um, but an even stock game, Slingshot is perfectly capable of resting momentum back away from Amaryllis. <gasps> okay, great stuff right there. Understanding it, those forward smashes have been coming out and shields it perfectly. That's gonna be it, though. Yeah, okay. no way. Now, so we have exact a carbon copy of um, Slingshot's final, the, the beginning of Slingshot's, Slingshot's final stock from game one. Um, but uh, like, Bayonetta is not Mario, uh, like uh, especially off stage. But as we saw against K uh, Kevin, um, Slingshot can absolutely put the brakes on people. And, and and just put them into these sleeper holds where it, it, you just like get get hit off stage and hit off stage and hit off stage. Slingshot can definitely just keep momentum and use Diddy Kong's tools to their full advantage in order to do that. Um, but for the most part, he still has to respect things like witch time, things like and, that. And the F smash. And so, and you have to respect F smash. You always gotta. Um, and now these two have been going sort of blow for blow now. The ends of these games are looking very even the way that they're, you know, trading here and there. But you have to remember that each game has started out with pretty much a nigh zero to death. In this game, it actually was a zero to death. So, nope. yeah, you can't nope. just be playing even at Slingshot if you take a huge early early hit like that. Oh my god, that was 38%. Which which twist into which twist? I think into uh, into a four door combo or something. Like, I, I'm pretty sure that was something like 38%. Um, and I, th that was just uh, that was that came right as I was about to say. Um, like one more bayonetta Forward string is potentially right game also. winning extra credit. Yeah. Uh, we're also at the point now where a forward throw at the ledge will kill, and I think that Emerald is probably keeps that in mind, considering how much Diddy Kong likes to or just do that. Yeah. Wow. Banana? That, Banana might not be as safe as we thought. Um, well, this well, is... Well, okay. In, in, in very, very specific situations, I guess. But oh, still. I mean, Bayonetta can still do it to get some invincibility, although it will stale the witch time. Uh, mm -hmm. But, yeah. I also, I like the fact that saved onto it until, like, that last stock, last hit situation. It could have been that, you know, the, a beautiful opportunity didn't present itself like that. Um, it was like... That, that, that was actually like a really, really brilliant um, ledge get up the punish from Amaryllis. Yeah. Um, there was nothing I, I, to I'm, do with that I'm, point. I'm, he was too I'm, close. I'm sorry to interrupt, but like, uh, like the the using the witch time on the banana to like instantly confirm a forward smash off of any ledge get up. Yeah. And, and that's just because the banana was there. Like witch time gets you the game there, no matter what the ledge get up is. Right. I, I was thinking about that. I was like, but that's actually really, really smart. Oh, yeah. Brilliant stuff coming out from Amaryllis. And let's see if he can repeat that sort of brilliance this time around. We do have a stage switch. Uh, but, I mean, I'm still curious how this matchup is going to play out if we don't basically have Amaryllis getting a zero to death at the very beginning of the game. You know what I mean? Like, what would that we game look like? that now. It well, I mean, be. it's not going to be a zero to death, but this is this is Slingshot looking, I, I mean, infinitely better so far. I mean, it is even. It's like zero times whatever number is infinitely better, if you know what I mean. It's, it, we are 40 seconds into the game. Slingshot still has their first stock. Not only that, he's got the lead and actually yeah. been pressuring Amaryllis at the corner in a way that he definitely had not been up until this point. You know what? We may be back on script here. 
Oh, reverse three O's. Yeah, that's we, right. We may, I, I, I may have to unshred the script, um, because sl uh, Slingshot might be writing it here. Oh. Uh, or not. The, I love that. Going for the heel slide and knowing that air dodge was coming. Just waits it out. Forward smash. Just gutting him. Just completely taking whatever lead Slingshot had worked so hard to build and no longer is there. Managing to take that stock was really big for him. But he doesn't have the lead that he, he had worked for. Just not anymore. Well, now it's starting to come back. And, and and this looks like this looks very very even, but you know for for anybody who's just tuned in, this is the most win for sling from Slingshot's point of view. This is the most winnable any game has been um, in this set. And Slingshot is really starting to capitalize on this. We're seeing that lockdown style of uh, Diddy Kong being played to not its full advantage, but as much of an advantage as you can get against a character like Bayonetta. All right, and now we're actually seeing Amaryllis playing a lot more patient than before, opting to use the platforms, kind of hide out there, you know, trying to play around Banana a bit. And, oh, speaking of playing around Banana, turning it into oh, your own wow. advantage is maybe the best way to play around it, right? But getting <gasps> getting a little randy with that uh, with that up smash and Slingshot almost able to find the the, the, the KO in response. <laughs> okay, point blank, uh, Peanut Pop Gun. Oh, down to too far away. <laughs> okay. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, that, that should be up it. Smash was so That up smash after the down tilt was so delayed. <laughs> oh, no. But this is Slingshot for the first time in the set with a stock lead. And we talked about Diddy Kong being an extra credit machine. We're going to have to see some right here. Oh, and now we're actually, you know, Amaryllis going for a lot of these, what are pretty punishing moves, or punishable moves, rather. Oh, that should be... No! Forget some oh, the hitbox yeah, the the, throughout the, the kick. kick. Okay, we're seeing adaptations here. That looked like the, the, the banana against... The, the, the witch time against banana looked like a sure thing. But uh, Slingshot throwing out an active hitbox is, is, is showing that there's counterplay to that too. Yeah, and now we have 2-1. Amaryllis is that a just a clean sweep and... That I, was, mean, I think he, that was a two-stock. Yeah, that was a two-stock. I probably should have um, been paying attention more, but yeah, that was in fact a two-stock. That was um, straight up two-stock. And so now we have a bit of an idea of what to expect. If in the very beginning of the game, Emeralist manages to do some crazy combo and gets the lead. Usually he's able to play to that and win pretty handily. But if Emeralist isn't able to find a big combo, a really, you know, just, just a meaningful string like that, mm. then, I mean, Slingshot's just been playing in neutral really well. And if he manages to get the lead, he's able to really extend it. So I... I feel like the first 30 to 40 seconds of this game are going to dictate the entire pace of the match. That, it certainly seems that way. Um, both of these players were sent to losers by Zane, who was sitting in grand finals. And you have to figure that both of them are very, very hungry for that, for that run back. I mean, honestly, they're also just hungry for second place or first place if given the chance. They might, they might just be hungry. Period. I don't know. Like, do we? Did they eat dinner? Well, yeah, it's a I Wi-Fi mean, bracket. You can like, you're not <laughs> on camera like match. some who's, people. Who's gonna know? <laughs> yeah. If you're a bayonetta. You're just like, hey, I'm just gonna you know, do bullet arts for a little while. Just grab a quick snack. Yeah. Jump also, in. it's funny. I, I, I was just complaining about like, oh, commentators can't eat while they're commentating. Except I literally just did that earlier tonight as a bit. Like that was that that was my actual introduction was me taking a mouthful of food. Um, of so, but I also you know, I gave you the inspiration, the the motivation you, did you needed it. to try. It. You did. So it is your fault. Um, and also my goldfish brain. Um, <laughs> so uh, another okay. pretty even game so far with yeah. slingshot. And that's, uh, and sl that slingshot means... rocking the percent percent lead, and that okay, that's a KO. That's the, that's the reality we're living in now. If the game starts out even, that's really scary for Amaryllis. It, it, it sure seems that way. 
Uh, Amaros really needs to uh, find a way to return to that overwhelming, just run you down style that 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 got them games one and two. That's a good start. But uh, Slingshot has a bit of a head start here because they have the stock lead and Diddy Kong. Stop me if you've heard this one before. Got 90% of extra credit. I know that the, the witch time up smash was cool, but 90% is huge when you're dealing with stuff like banana down tilt up smash. Yeah, and one more of those will probably do Bananetta in, or just forward Ooh. smash. Actually, still living. Good DI okay. from Amaryllis. How did Amaryllis live that one? Um, when, no when they rage on Diddy Kong. How, how, did they, how did they die to that first one, but then live that one? Uh, I, I think that forward smash is one of those moves that because it's a multi-hit. Um, okay. Uh, like, rage matters a lot. That's true. Yeah, true. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Um... Oh, that banana pull was so, so dirty. Uh, stuffing out anything Emeralds was trying to get started there. And now we're kind of realizing one of the struggles with Bayonetta in this matchup, Diddy Kong is small. Like, he uh, is yep. always close to the ground, and a lot of Bayonetta's moves kind of, at the very least, they become more predictable when she has to aim at a target that is so low to the ground like that. When you're in neutral uh, uh, and you're what? trying to f find that one hit, it's like, it's just, just a tiny target. That what, and what do we call, what do we call, what do we call Diddy Kong? Uh, uh, Mega Goldilocks? Mega Goldilocks, I just said it. Oh, oh, Mega, Duh. okay. I've been mega. saying Mega this whole time. Oh, which no, I was saying sense. Mega, like the Negaverse. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bizarro Goldilocks, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Another banana forward smash. How you like it. Um, the games have been getting more and more and more slingshot favored, which is... I mean, like, we, we have a game five. Yeah. The script is the return, like, return of the script. Yeah. I will say that... So... This is giving me a little bit of flashbacks to winner's final for Amaryllis, where Amaryllis on his final stock kind of, especially if he's down, if he's down and on his final stock, he loses patience, it feels like. He starts approaching in ways that, at the very least, the opponents start really capitalizing on. Um, and I mean, it can be very frustrating trying to get sort of scavenge a lead back from a Diddy Kong, but uh, right. if you're not careful and you just let that sort of, you get hit after time, after time, after time, you're gonna, you know, that's not how you make a comeback. One, go. <laughs> well, right. not with that attitude. Yeah, all right. So honestly, the first 30 seconds of this match, I'm not gonna say I'm gonna decide the whole thing, but they will, it will really matter. Yeah. And, for, um, and I think that just like a big part of it also might be that Slingshot's DI has gotten better and he's not finding himself being put in this, you know, blender of combos that lead to a death. Right. And and Slingshot is really staying towards the corners of the stage um, and out of the range of, uh, of the DABK, which has been one of Amaryllis' go-to combo starters here. Um... And, and, and what, what did we say last game? An even start to the game favors Slingshot, it seems, based on the data we have. Yeah, I do also think that Emeralds is starting to play a lot more intelligently this time around. You'll see how he'll go for these jumps pretty far away, looking for that DABK. And he's not pulling the trigger if he doesn't feel that comfortable about it. Or at the very least, if he knows he can't get punished that hard for going for something like that. Uh, another vote. What's my name? Okay. Just let her rock. <laughs> no, just let it rock. Um. I mean, also a bathing tool, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Now, okay. So we had a we had a we had an even beginning of this game, but this is not that bad for Amaryllis. Yeah. Amaryllis think... may be starting to write the ship here. Well, let's see how the, you know, how this shapes up. Very, like, you know, these next... You mean ship one. shapes up? I, no, I didn't mean that. You're putting words okay. in my mouth. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Slander. Slander. Slander and libel. I mean, this is not in print, so it's... Mm -hmm. 
Anyway, we have now, so like despite that really big lead, and at the very least, Emerilus just doesn't have to fight from behind right now. But right, yeah. one monkey flipped to the face and all of a sudden, yeah, Slingshot has a lead. Oh, falls oh. onto that up tilt. Uh-huh. But uh, again, both players really, uh, really taking their time, showing a lot of respect, playing patient neutral. Um, Amaryllis forward smashing sometimes, which is not, but okay. Now you knew the banana was there. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Managing to avoid a really oh, nasty that was... combo there, but Slingshot is still kind of being put through the ringer. 83% and okay, finally manages to get a hit in. A little bit of stage control, but even then not really getting a huge amount of damage. I like I like what Amaryllis went w went for there. Like uh, through the banana, immediately went in, used a dash attack to regrab, and then through and, and the immediate second throw to try and bait out a forward smash, or to, to, to try and bait and get a forward smash. Um, it didn't connect, but the the idea and decision making there I think was really really solid. Oh. All right, again, sort of occupying this diagonal above space. And now I'm starting to phantom footstool the, the shield. I really like that actually, just testing the waters can be a little bit risky, but like I'm pretty sure Diddy Kong can't just like go for up smash at a shield if he's holding banana, so. Wow, just runs up and does it, but it's not, the, the DI is there from Amaryllis. Uh, the percent not quite there for Slingshot. Air dodge is there, air dodge is out of the witch twist. That's huge. Uh, I, feel, I feel like the next banana is so, so critical. Yeah, but the next banana is actually in Amaryllis' hand, at least for a little while. Being put off stage, he has to find a way to get past this ledge with the banana just sitting on it. He gets hit, but oh, no, no does oh, The run just didn't come out, not able to actually capitalize on it. And all of a sudden, Amaryllis putting up some pressure onto the shield. Can he actually find the finishing blow? Oh, no. A Amaryllis has been so close on some of these punishes. Uh, Slingshot has gotten away with murder a couple times uh, this second set, or this second stock. I cannot believe the second stock has gone on so long and Amaryllis is still living. This is honestly the point where the clock what? is relevant. Amaryllis takes that stock in the in there one <laughs> Oh, Amaryllis needs to hold on to the stock as long as humanly possible. I Honestly, holding on to it for as long as possible, even if he doesn't get extra credit, could still be really important because look at the clock. Two minutes. I'm, yeah, that's a, that's, an, a, that's a decent amount of time. But if he's ahead by enough, he can start playing to the timeout. Stop absolutely. worrying about approaching the Diddy Kong, holding the banana. But with 76, 67% rather on Slingshot, this is the point where that is a hefty chunk of extra credit. And now... I mean, you don't want to be comfortable just dying, but yeah, look at yeah, the way that yeah. now Slingshot, hungry for that kill, trying to find a way to pry open the evasive sort of strategy that Emeralds has taken, finally manages to do it, catching the landing with Banana into Up Smash, and minute 30 on the clock. If you're Emeralds, you can freely, you don't, you don't really have to approach if you're not feeling great about it. You don't have I to. Okay, I, I was gonna say, Amaryllis really wanted one or oh, two, okay. what? Okay, fine, whatever, yeah, sure. After, uh, yeah, intense set, it's, uh, yeah, it'll end like that, why not? Emotions are high. Um. <laughs> My high emotion right now, sadness. Yeah, I, man, I don't know, that like, that straight up, that straight up looked like it's bedtime. Past. Oh uh, no, they did they they just didn't realize in time? Wait, hold on a okay, second. Okay, can we did rewind a, jump a little bit more? I want to know I, if they had might not be able to. Uh, they... I think So, can we actually get the first? We have this hit. Uh, do you jump? Where? No, he That's didn't the air dodge. The jump. That's Wait, still off stage. Oh. Where I I I have. Did, I, wait, well, I did, really did, did wonder if they. Did like a jump being stolen here? Oh, yeah, there, there it is. was. That's right there, there. Was. right there. That right there. Right there. Right there. Right oh, there. Was... Oh man. The, oh my God. That's why. That's why the up B was so late. They thought they still had a jump. Yeah, absolutely. That was absolutely oh what happened. My this God. tiny little moment so, that happened like six or seven seconds before the actual, you know incident of him losing the stock yeah right there you see the little halo appear and that's what did him in 
Man. In the middle of his own combo, too. <sighs> man. Oh, man. And then, and you know what? Credit for Amaryllis for that single forward air um, was enough. Uh, like, going for the single forward air, I wonder if Amaryllis saw that double jump and was like, okay, if I go for the single forward air, they're off stage with no jump. What? Like, I don't think it, I don't think Amaryllis went as far to say, like, they're off stage with no jump and they don't know it. But it was definitely like a, if you know your opponent has no double jump, keep them off stage. That was like, that's the, like, that's that, like, fundamental, uh, like, things that you fall back on in these last hit situations. Um, <gasps> wow. Thank you, Yoshe. Let's go HO3K yeah! indeed. Um, yes, hey. I'm, I'm going to need go. to, uh, I'm going to need to take a quick break. Uh, call an atron and all that. I'll be right back in just a moment. Okay. 